it in person. I'm already getting used to the lurk, and many these bitches can't stop. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Israel Adesanya and John Dodson. Strikes together, beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time. You never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh. And now he lands a combination. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 25 total strikes have now landed for the last shooter of throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ron and Paul here or if you're gonna go to submission. Able to check the high kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Just over two minutes now to go. Another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Under a minute now to go in the round. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, round two coming up next. Round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. He has a commitment to kick it tight, and it shows. Oh, that could have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Timing his shots nicely here, Chad. Out of range with the big right hand. Oh, and he lands.
lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Big leg kick land. Oh. Israel Adesanya going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. So 57 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Oh, 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 just digs his Not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the... Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision.
right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, second round underway. Oh! Oh! Fades upstairs and lands flushed to the plane. Perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect for this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Big combination. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Transition to the ankle pick. Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip us. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Nicely done. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second. And his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but... Oh, yeah! Let's see what he can do. Unable to connect with the win. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ain't chasing a bitch, I'm chasing a dream. It's a heavyweight championship fight between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Ray Borg. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight at Gordon in Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so... That's a beautiful scramble right there. Beautiful transition. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. Think about this right. shot, man. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent not out yet. He's trying to keep it the poker 
face, but he's hurt very, very bad. So holding on to him here, not doing it. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. have landed for Israel out of sight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big kick lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet. Celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes.